Angelique. And we're growing up without borders. And today we are visiting Edinburgh, Edinburgh Scotland. Scotland. Let's go have some fun. The drive into Edinburgh was about one hour away from the little village we were staying at called Peebles. All right, we parked downtown by the waterfront. So there's a shopping mall here in case you want to know. It actually has free parking. So there's a little hint if you're driving in and you need to find free parking. And we're on a double decker bus. So we're really high up and um, just to share with you pricing, it's $8.50 for a family pass for the day. So you can take all the transit, which works out really good. They also have free Wi-Fi here on the bus. So that's also a good thing to have. Why would there be an owl here, do you think? He's 60 years old. He's 60 years old? Mm -hmm. Why would there be an owl here, though? Oh. This is definitely where everything's happening, is here in Edinburgh. And uh, it's beautiful. For one, the people are so friendly. That's one thing like you'll find when you come here. Everyone is super, super, super nice. Since it's raining, we decided to come into a place called Camera Obscura, and what it is is what, a whole bunch of optical illusions. Optical illusions, mirrors, it's really fun. It's a perfect place to come. If it rains, it's open until 8 p.m., and I'll tell you the pricing in about two seconds. Okay, this is totally typical Scotland, because you see here, we came in and it was pouring rain, and now it is blue skies. Go figure. <laughs> Okay, so pricing to come in here to Camera Obscura is 16 for adults, students are 14, and children under 15 are 12. So these are the views from the rooftop up here. It's absolutely beautiful. Obscura, you can see a 360 degree view from the rooftop and we just did a really cool show they literally put a mirror up through a tube and then they portray it on this um, wooden kind of globe right up there in that tower so there's a mirror and then it shows you the whole area and she points out all the most important buildings which one of them was Primark somewhere down there that one over there uh-huh you want to eat her? Yeah. That's Chloe as a monkey. <laughs> you look like a happy monkey. Wow. Go to the next one. Please. Okay, now we're going to have Chloe as a baby. Oh no, caricature. Let's see you as a baby. Aww, that's so cute. Oh, what's that? Okay, 
so just outside of the castle gates is this road here. It's called the Royal Mile, and this is what it looks like. Look at what we just discovered here off the Royal Mile. Isn't that beautiful? Basically what you're going to find all along the Royal Mile is tens of souvenir shops and pubs and little cafes, restaurants, so lots of options. behind you it's cool isn't it? it looks so ancient this here is their parliament building or at least one of them so this is the end of the royal mile road and behind me is the queen's gallery and then beside it is her home that she comes and stays in for a week to do all her business you could say all the things she needs to get done here in edinburgh over in a distance, this mountain reminds me a little bit of Cape Town. I guess just the shape of it. It's kind of nice. So something that I've uh, noticed here in Scotland is that everybody goes on these nature walks. So you see all these people here, but what's really unique is that you could be walking through farmers' fields like we were the other day. Britannia yacht where the Queen has done many many travels and then actually Princess Diana and Prince Charles actually did their honeymoon on this exact ship. There's a park and fly that we just did today. So we parked um, by the Ikea. Did I say park and fly? I mean park and ride. And then um, you just ride in the bus. And again, it's for a family only £8.50. So really reasonable. And then you get straight to the downtown. You have to worry about parking. So it works out really good. Everything in Europe is just so old. Look at this though. There's the castle we're about to go visit. So here we are today, we are now going to the Edinburgh Castle and good two good hours to visit, so let's go show you along. So that's the view when you first come in here to the castle. You can see the whole city.
telescope and I was going to tell you what I thought of it. So you definitely want to have time because we were there for quite a while because we like taking pictures and stuff and it was definitely nice. So here are some of the highlights you'll see when you're in there. You'll see the like, prison, you can see a cathedral, you can actually see the royal crown which is really cool to see. You can see like all these like views and canyons and there's a lot to see. So definitely makes you have time but it's really nice going to see. Next, we visited Princess Street Gardens, right beside Princess Street. Princess Street Gardens is the perfect spot to come and enjoy a nice stroll. It has this beautiful walkway all along and uh, or have a picnic and just relax in and amongst all the hustle and bustle of the city center. So we decided to do just that. We went and got a picnic, and basically for 20 pounds, we got a we whole had, bunch like, of food. a size like this, <laughs> and a, like a Snickers bar. Like. These three pound deals where you get sandwich, a snack, and a drink. So it's really good value. And we're enjoying the view of the beautiful castle. That bird up there on the top of the fountain is having a bath really high up, and it's really funny. Behind me is Princess Street and you can have all these different shops from like Primark is a good one or anything. So now that our bellies are full, we are going for a nice stroll along the riverbed. We're on our way to a place called Dean's Village and uh, we started in Stockbridge. So looks like there's a market in Stockbridge based on Google, Google Maps. And the river where we are is just down below here. And apparently Dean's Village is absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to show you. Look at the seaweed in the riverbed. I guess it's just weeds. It's a pathway. There are these beautiful structures and neat things to see. Normally from the downtown, we would have actually walked to Dean Village, but we decided to take a bus the wrong way. <laughs> That's why we ended up on this beautiful stroll. So it worked out in the end. So if you see the buildings behind me, they're like, it looks like they're plumbings outdoors, but we think what it is is they collect the rainwater for their homes. So we we're not exactly sure, but I believe that. Up there. So the rainwater would come down through the tubes. Yeah. And we think it goes in their house? Yeah. I think I've seen it on Mr. Bean like a long time ago, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like he stole all the water to make his house to have bath. all the water to have a bath. So there's no like restaurants, cafes, or action happening there. I don't know if it's because of the time of the day, but I didn't really see anything. So, just FYI, there you go. It's kind of, you know. Bring a picnic and enjoy the river. Yeah. Well, they do have the Scottish Modern Art Museum here, so that you can go see. So the last couple nights we stayed at a home exchange about an hour away, the last few nights actually. And tonight we are going to, uh, we're right in the city center and we're staying at this place called Q Residence. It's an apart hotel, which will be really nice. So here we go. It's big in here. Big. Oh yeah. Look at that, and we're right in the downtown, like literally walking distance to everything. Oh, it's really nice. That's really cool. They even have a washing machine over there in a the distance. Always helpful. Wow, it's a big, huge living room. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. And then a nice big kitchen. Hey. Good. It's a fridge. hidden fridge. So yeah, look. <laughs> it's fully equipped. It's got everything we're gonna need. Now to hit the grocery store. We'll go make ourselves a really yummy dinner meal.
So something that we found out that they have here in Scotland is something called a meal deal. And the way it works is you buy your main dish. So it's kind of like pre-made food. You can have like different sides like this or what have you. And basically you pay 10 pounds. Like they would, this would be a main dish. And this would be a drink. You get a drink with it or you can even get a bottle of wine like that. So for 10 pounds, you get a drink, a dish, a side, and a dessert. So like desserts like that. Crazy, right? So that's what we're getting. Okay, here's our 20 pound meal. It looks delicious. It looks kind of different because we're having a little bit of yeah, everything. Yeah, we're having a... Lasagna yes. and spinach yeah. and... Okay potato and pizza and a little bit of everything, but it's going to be yummy.